Hello, I'm Steve. Thanks for visiting the Patio Heat channel where we provide visual concepts of infrared heating as well as tips for ideal patio comfort. Check out our patioheat.com website for sales and more information. Please tap that like button if you find this video useful as it helps others find our channel. Now let's get heating. All right, so here we have this residential application. Let's just go right into the dimensions. Um, overall dimensions I have here. You can see we have this floor plan here basically, but 24, 5, and 7 16 by uh, 17, 8, and 3 quarters to this outside edge from the wall here. Um, I do have this as an open beam um, area, and I just have some basic seating arrangements here. Um, just casual seating as well as <clears throat> doorways that open outwards into the patio. All right, so this space um, is rather large. Um, you would probably need somewhere in the nature of 117, 118,000 BTUs to heat up this whole area um, efficiently. And um, so let's just go ahead and look at what we can do. I'm going to turn off those dimensions. And first thing I would show, the uh, particular request was for electric heaters. And they were just really trying to confirm whether this would work um, or not. So these are CD 6024. They're 20,000, uh, 20, uh, 400, roughly 500 BTUs per unit. Uh, 4,000, uh, excuse me, 6,000 watt, 240 volt, and 25 amps a piece. We require a clearance of approximately um, 18 inches on the ends. And you can see that I've just about matched up the ends here, 18 inches in, 18 inches in and that gives you a little bit of overlapping in the middle so <clears throat> that's the best we could do here and the same thing would be true over here now if you were going to use 6000 watt units that uh, btu demand that i gave you just a minute ago would call for somewhere around um, i think it's 5.5 units total and obviously we have four units here so let's go ahead and look at the uh, footprint of heat and footprint of heat you can see that we're you know the, the best throw that we can get is going to be about a 10 foot throw from this point here to this point here and so once you get into this um, further area yes the ray the infrared light wave does travel through space and it'll keep on traveling until it um, it will penetrate any type of mass and i'm just going to turn off the floor plan here for a second <clears throat> so it'll keep on traveling and yes it will you will feel it here and when you have two units crossing over then you will feel it um, twice as much um, but it's still not the ideal amount of heat for this whole entire space so you can see i have these i think they have them at 30 degree angles from out or you can go out six degrees down and we're, we're capturing pretty much the whole space so you know i'm, I'm missing about a foot here all the way down, foot here, all the way down. So that will reduce some of the um, demand. So instead of the 5.5, maybe you just need five units total. And maybe you could put one on this back beam over here if you uh, felt like you wanted to go with all electric and still make sure that you have adequate uh, heat. Um, but I think this would be a decent application and um, you know it's satisfactory as well. So um, that would be just the... Uh, I guess approval of uh, four 6,000 watt units in this application. Yes, it would work. It's not ideal, but um, it would be okay. All right, so the next option would be to go ahead and put some gas units in here. Now these are um, infradynamic uh, sun packs. These could be either 34,000 BTUs or their TSH model. The TSH model um, allows you to have two stages of output 25,000 to 34,000 and so I kind of like those a little bit better um, I've gone with the full length of the bracket you are required to have 17 inches whoops let's see if I can hear 17 inches of clearance from this edge all the way up to the ceiling and so that's important that you maintain that but I would also like to get as much ray out as possible um, to the center of this location so that's why I'm doing that now, 34,000, that would call for 3.5 roughly units. And obviously, um, having three here probably wouldn't give you the full uh, footprint of heat that you're looking for. I mean, we could put, you know, let's say one on the back side of here and then, you know, one on the left, one on the right. And, um, but 
going back to these dimensions here, 24 feet. The best you're going to get of a coverage on left to right would be 12 feet. And um, the depth, you know, so you could get like 8 foot out this direction from this beam on the left here, 12 feet in, or sorry, 12 feet across this way, and then maybe 8 foot in. And then this other two could cover the uh, ends over here and then over here. Um, but I think four would give you a better footprint. I do have these, by the way, at seven point uh, seven foot nine inches center to center on each unit. Um, we require twelve inch, uh, twenty four inches on the ends of the heater to any combustible wall. So that's why I have that. And let's go ahead and look at the footprint of heat. Footprint of heat. Now you can see that's very similar to what I had what I had mentioned before, but this intensity is a little bit hotter than the. Uh, the 6,000 watt um, electric heater, so it's 34,000 BTUs compared to roughly 20,500 BTUs, and so there's a lot, a lot different of the intensity um, from this to the electric heaters. Also, um, running on gas, um, if this is a windy area, then of course the gases will get blown around, and it's not as efficient as electric heater. So if it's a windy area, electric heaters might be more effective and efficient in that space. So um, again, this is just to show what the difference would look like and what uh, how I probably would place these units in this application. So um, my ideal would be the gas heaters, and um, the electric heaters would be my second choice in this matter. So, all right, well, I hope this has helped. If you're looking for some assistance with your outdoor heating application, you would like us to review your plans, please send your information into designs at patioheat.com. I'm Steve, and again, please tap that like button. We do not advertise. We're not monetized. Therefore, YouTube will not promote our channel unless we receive your appreciation, and your thumbs up really helps us. Have a great day.